BPM DJ uses beach graphs. In this image, the entire image is one beach graph. It shows you the entire energy content of a track. Bright pixels are the places where you have a lot of energy and dark pixels are the places where you have little energy. From top to bottom, the energy content of one bar is visualized, while from the left to the right, the entire track is visualized. So all the bars are stacked nicely next to each other. This thread bar shows the current playing position. Since this is a 4-4 rhythm, you can actually see the beats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This for instance is an area where you have little energy, so you don't really see the 4 beats you see at other positions. This indicates there's a break. And here the track continues again. To reposition the play counter, you can simply click on the seek bar at the top, here, and you can jump directly to another position. For instance, if you would like to jump to the break here again, so there we are in the break, if you want to beat again, just click on that position. This is the beat graph of only one track in the mix. The interesting thing is that we can add multiple tracks to the mix. This track can be added and is shown in a different color here. This is the first track and that is the second one. Of course the tracks can overlap and the place where they do, that's called the transition. Currently it's marked by the blue rectangle. This transition is already correctly aligned. The beats from the left track, these are those four beats, line up nicely with the beats of the right track. This transition, on the other hand, is fantastically out of sync, as you can clearly hear. The beats of the left track, those four beats, do not line up with the beats shown here. By default, transitions are not aligned correctly. The question now is how to align the beats properly. This can be done by opening the transition, then five handles appear. On phones, the five handles are placed somewhat differently. This one is the most important one. It is the beat aligner and it allows you to shift the second track up or down like you can see here. Or, now it's out of alignment again. So I think this is okay. The second handle is a transition slider. It moves the entire transition left or right in the mix. For instance, I can place the transition around this area. The third one is a song dragger. The transition remains at the same place, but the second track can be shifted back and forth. Let's move it over here. The fourth one is the left margin, which is placed correctly. And the fifth one is the right margin. Let's make this transition a short one. So that's our transition. As long as the transition is being edited, the play counter stays at the same place. So it doesn't move. To finish up, we close the transition. <laughs> 